Previously, we created a profile page with uh, actually sub pages like the ID of the profile, then the post and the post ID, and we end up with that. So what we would like to have is some kind of buttons to go to uh, a deeper level of uh, the pages, right? So if I come back here, I got a profile ID with post, etc., etc. Let's say that on the profile page, we got a page profile, okay? And I would like to have a list of profile, my list of profiles, okay? We change a little bit to uh, in order to follow the course entirely. So I'm going to go down, I'm going to say H1, okay? And I got my list of profile, there we go. Then I got the division and here I'm supposed to have a list of profiles. So let's say that I'm going to have um, a list, okay? Here, we got a list. And in this list, I would have a profile one, then profile two, then a profile three. Okay, so if I come back, I got these elements here and I would like to click on them, then to go to profile slash one. Okay, so here I got profile 12, but profile one, then profile 12, etc., etc. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the ID page here and I want to uh, say that I'm on the profile page profile page ID and here I want to put actually between uh, curly brackets I want to put the params.id okay because I know that on profile ID I'm catching the ID so if I go to profile slash one I got the ID one if I go to two I got the number two if I go to a very big number I got the very big number all right so I go back to profile and I would like to click for that, we're going to use the router. So let's come back at the root of our page, so on the profile page. So what I need to do at first is to use the client, all right? And when I use the client now, I can call my use router from next navigation. So I'm going to call use router from next navigation, all right? This use router give me an access to the router. So I can initiate here the router inside my app. So it's going to be uh, use router and there we go. Use router help me to initiate the router and have a look on how the router is looking like. So I can console log my router directly. When I come back to my app, I inspect and let's have a look quickly. We've got the object here, router, and we see that we've got access to many functions. back fast refresh, forward, prefetch, push, refresh, and replace. All those functions help me to play with the router of Next.js, right? So what I want to have, actually, is to use the push function that we got down there. So as it is a course on the router, I'm going to use the router push to go directly to the page. However, there is another method to do it. It's to use the link navigation of Next.js. We're going to probably see that later. So I'm going to come back in here. And what I want to do, I want to actually catch when I click on one element of this list. To do that, exactly like in JavaScript, I can use the onClick function. And this onClick function in here will help me to call router push. And here we got to put the pass we want to push. So here is going to be profile slash one. Of course, it's going to be exactly the same for profile two and profile three. And we can imagine that later I would have an array with all these uh, parameters here and updating all those parameters. Okay, so let's come back now, let's close this and let's try to click on profile one. So here we see that I clicked on profile two and I'm on profile two, it worked. So I used the router, use router, and I used the function push to go to the page. Okay, but now I'm on the page two, how do I come back to the main page? Well, I'm going to do exactly the same, but under the page where I got the ID. Okay, so here I have the page which is here, profile page, and on the top I already got next navigation from the previous course. I can type use router and I can initiate my router exactly like I did. And I can put, let's say I'm going to put that into a H1, and I can create like a, a new div back to main page. 
And of course, this profile ID component page uh, is going to be used for every profile that we've got. So basically on every page, whatever is going to be uh, uh, the ID, and here we didn't even specify, the ID could be also a name if we want to, we will still have this back to main page, okay? So I can do exactly the same. I can type on click, and here I can say, hey, I want to just trigger the function wuta push, and here it's going to be profile. So let's come back. I'm on the page ID Guillaume. I click to main page. I come back here. I go to profile one, profile one. I go to main page. There we go. I go to profile three, main page. This is it. We created a whole tree of pages that are connected together, and we can with the use of use router, we can come back to the previous page or go to the next page. On the official documentation, we got exactly the example that I show it to you. And we got more information about how we can create our uh, function to push to the router. So here we see that we can pass a string, but we can also pass parameter if we want. We can use the router refresh function to refresh the current route, for instance, for any reason we would like to. Prefetch will help us to provide a route for faster client-side transitions. So here it's a specific case that I might explain later. Back and forward also. So if you want more information, you can go on the official documentation to see the use router. And we see here that we got the link component here, and it has a recommendation written. Use the link component for navigation unless you have a specific requirement for using use router.